these are different. Yeah, these answers are good. Hello, how are you? How are you? Oh, we got a little studio lighting and all. That's nice. Really cool. This is a Waterloo signature loudspeaker. They're three-way active. Oh, they're active. Okay. These are with uh, Hypex Encore amplifiers, 1100 watts per channel. 9-inch aluminum midwoofer, 9-inch aluminum subwoofer, aluminum 1-inch tweeter, horn-loaded, it's a transmission line design. Oh wow, transmission line. 65-inch total line length, <coughs> internally folded five times. Oh my god. Where's the power cord for it? The back here. Excuse <coughs> Oh, okay. Okay. I thought the I thought the two was a speaker, but one of them is the power. Okay. Uh, adjustable stainless steel isolation chain. Wow. Uh, Man. Uh, mine, Jay Porter Studios. Okay. We're out of Austin. We're right inside. We uh, fill our wood there and assemble everything else. It sounds good. Great presentation. Are you going to get out Price point on these? Uh, they start at uh, twelve thousand per pair. We do separate subwoofer cabinets with like, different size subs. So we do a nine inch, an eleven inch, fifteen or twenty one inch sub. Twenty one inch. Yeah, so the twenty one inch sub, that one for a pair is about twenty five grand. Okay. And twelve for the nine inch. How low do these go without the sub? Uh, these have built in nine inch subs with like a twenty. Okay, because you got the transmission line. These are these have the transmission line base. Correct. Yeah. So the, the subwoofer, the subwoofer and the midwoofer share the same ear cavity. So that feeds into the transmission line that's about halfway down the cabinet here, and then that travels up and snakes around and exits out the front aluminum port. Okay. So the midwoofer signal it, it cuts off at 120 hertz. So we're not activating the line with that signal. We're just absorbing the rear wave. From okay. The gotcha. And then the subwoofer activates. Actually uses it. Yeah, the subwoofer activates the transmission line at about 18 hertz. Now the side panel with the little metal plate on it, is that for just aesthetics or what? what That's a, an access panel. Okay, for the, for the crossover rear, or because whatever. Because the, the tweeters rear mounted. Okay. These have no passive crossover components. These are All rear. active, okay. We do a passive version, but this one's active. But the active components are inside? Yeah, they're all on the, the plate angle. Okay. And how much power are you giving them? Uh, these are 1100 watts per channel. Oh, really? 100 watts to the tweeter, 500 to the midwoofer, 500 to the subwoofer. Okay, wow. Okay. So these can rock out. Yeah. Especially with the 21 inch sub. You could probably take the plaster off the wall. Potentially. Very hot. Are you just launching these? Are these new? These are new, yeah. Well, they look very polished and nice, aesthetically really nice. Thank you very much for your time. Oh, yeah, yeah, every panel is a different size and a different shape to optimize diffraction and remove standing waves. Yeah, you can tell, yeah, you, you're, con you're, you're considering the baffle reflections and everything. Very impressive. Now, um, are you selling direct or you sell through a dealer? Uh, I don't have any dealers right now. Uh, potentially, both. okay. But yeah, right now you can purchase directly through our website, jporterstudios.com. How long does it take to uh, manufacture one? That's it. You know? uh, we're on about we say.
say about ten weeks. Ten weeks, okay. Cool. Where did the drivers come from? All over the world, really. So Norway, Taiwan, Denmark. Like, it depends on the, the model and everything. So the high efficiency drivers are, are paper, or paper fiberglass, and then these are aluminum, magnesium. I was looking at you know, uh, the passive speaker is actually more expensive. It shouldn't be. Uh, you do have to select all the options. Uh, but yeah, there might be a button.